Well, this is dumb. Winter storm Igna is in full swing right now, but that's not why I dragged everyone out here in the cold this morning. I wanted to ask a question. Who would win? Many small YouTube channels or these boys who caused the adpocalypse in the first place. So while everyone was sleeping, YouTube has announced that it is changing the rules of its partner program and raising the requirements that content creators must meet in order to run ads and monetize videos on their channels. Starting this very second, to monetize your videos, content creators must now have 4,000 hours of overall watch time on their channel within the past year and have at least 1,000 subscribers. All existing channels currently partnered with YouTube will have 30 days, that's February 20th, to meet both of these stats. All channels that fail to pass these two requirements will no longer be able to make an income from ads. So prior to this announcement, the previous YouTube partner program rules were only having 10,000 public views across all videos on a channel without any specific need for viewing hours. This change will almost certainly raise the bar for smaller channels trying to reach monetization. In their defense, YouTube says this is the best way they can find out what channels are following the community guidelines and disqualify, quote, bad actors. The post on the YouTube content creators blog says, We've arrived at these new thresholds after thorough analysis and conversations with creators like you. These channels will also allow us to significantly improve our ability to identify creators who contribute positively to the community and help drive more ad revenue to them and away from bad actors. Even though the post doesn't mention the Logan Paul controversy by name, YouTube does seem to reference the incident, saying, these higher standards will also help us prevent potentially inappropriate videos for monetizing, which can hurt revenue for everybody. I find it really interesting that only after Paul's suicide force video do these changes in rules suddenly appear, but it's by no means a new problem. Advertisers have long struggled for years and complained over the fact that corporate ads have appeared alongside or over inappropriate videos on YouTube. This new framework for monetization could also be interpreted as a way to prevent other problems YouTube faces. For example, Towards the end of 2017, YouTube had to deal with the fact that tons of disturbing, potentially harmful videos found their way onto the site and were targeted towards children. Basically, the company is going to increase the number of actual human beings inspecting over videos that are a part of Google Preferred, so something like the Logan Paul thing doesn't happen again to advertisers. Google Preferred is marketed as a way for brands to have their ads in front of YouTube's elite creators of brand-safe content for key demographics. So I know everyone has seen these channels full of stolen content like Vine compilations and highlight reels from all sorts of genres that rack up millions of views but don't get any subs. We'll probably see less of that around YouTube, which I think I'm okay with. Anyone who doesn't meet the requirements is already getting next to no ad revenue anyway, so this is better for YouTube in the long run, so advertisers won't pull their ads and have more trust in YouTube. The 4,000 total hours of watch time makes some sense, to be honest. Any channel can easily hit that with semi-decent content. The 1,000 subs thing, on the other hand, does kind of suck, especially since they were nerfed last year even more than before. A sub used to mean that you'd see new content from the channel you're subbed to, and now it means that it may or may not show up on your sub feed. I mean, what's next? 5,000 bells? Anyways, can anyone suggest a good site to buy subscriptions? I'm, I'm just kidding, don't, don't flag me, bros. Seriously, what does everybody think about this? Maybe we can all rally together to help each other make boss content so that we can all hit our goals. Right now, I'm gonna go back in the kitchen and make some rice. I know you guys dig my Alex Paul gossip video yesterday. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll see everyone tomorrow. Peace.